Hi, this is Kanababu. In the last class we discussed about uh, the database and uh, the tables. Right. In this video, I will discuss about how to create the tables. Right. So initially, I'll go to start uh, all programs. Here I will try to open my SQL Server Management Studio, Microsoft SQL Server 2008. And there I will try to open SQL Server Management Studio. And here uh, I will try to give the server name is Karna hyphen PC and we can connect to SQL Server database in two ways. One is by using Windows authentication, other one is by using SQL Server authentication. When we connect using Windows authentication, it is not required to mention the username and password. But when you connect with SQL Server authentication, we need to mention the username and password. The default username is SA. SA means system admin. Password is ABC. So here go to the new query. To make the things faster, I already have the queries. First of all, we must know about constraints here. In order to create the tables here, as we are applying the primary key and foreign key, we must know the concepts of constraints. Constraints are generally used to apply some conditions or restrictions on the database objects like tables. Here we are uh, applying two constraints, that is a primary key constraint, foreign key constraint and composite primary key constraint. Three constraints were applied. As you already know that primary key constraint will not accept duplicate values, it will not accept null values and we cannot apply more than one primary key constraint on a single table. Composite primary key constraint means applying the primary key constraint for the combination of columns is called as composite primary key constraint. And um, foreign key constraint is generally used to establish the relationship between two or more tables. So here, uh, the, I have mentioned the syntax for creating the uh, primary key constraint. Here you can say the time of creating the table, create table, table name, column name, data type, primary key. The syntax for applying composite primary key constraint, create table, table name, column name 1, data type, comma, column name 2, data type, comma, primary key of column name 1, comma, column name 2. That is how we are applying the primary key constraint for the combination of columns. That is composite primary key constraint. And the syntax for applying foreign key constraint is create table, table name, column name, data type, foreign key, references, primary key table name of primary key column name. Always foreign key constraint is referencing with primary key table. Right. And now here I already written the queries to make the things faster. First of all, I want to create one database. So here I will go to the new query and here I will create one database. The name of the database is travel project and I want to use the database. After creating the database, we have to use the database. Right click refresh. Here you can see one database is created with the name travel project. Now here I want to create one table. The name of the table is bus. Here you see create table. Table name is bus. Column name SV number, data type where care of 30, primary key, comma from place, where care of 50, comma to place, where care of 50, comma capacity, arrival time, departure time, travel agency name, bus type. So I want to create one table with the name bus. And I want to apply primary key for SV number, execute. Command completed successfully. Right click refresh and here you can open, there you can see the tables. One table is created with name but bus and here you can see sv number is primary key similarly i want to create one more table with name pickup points and here you can see i want to create one more table with name pickup points so create table table name is pickup point and i am giving three columns here one is id another one is pid why i am giving id i will explain you later pid and the other one is p name pickup point id pickup point name and i am applying primary key constant for pid and execute so one more table is created right click on tables refresh here you can see one table is created with name pickup point and pid is primary key and similarly here i want to create one more table with name destination so here you can see i'll create one more table with name destination so create table table name is destination three columns id did where care of 50 primary key and a D name and here you press F5 I created one more table with name what destination so here refresh 
So here three tables are created. One is bus, other one is pickup point, and another one is destination. Right. So here I want to create one more table because of the relationship of bus and uh, pickup points. We got one more table called bus pickup points. And in bus pickup points table, I want to apply service number foreign key and PID foreign key and SV number PID combination. I want to apply composite primary key. So we already discussed the syntax for applying foreign key constant. So create table table name bus pickup point column name SV number data type var care of 30 foreign key references primary key table name is bus of primary key column name comma PID where care of 30 foreign key references primary key table name is pickup point of primary key column name is PID comma applying composite primary key constant for the combination of column that is SV number comma PID and here whenever you try to apply foreign key constant you have to follow some rules what are the basic rules you have to follow means the data type of the primary key and the data type of the foreign key column both must be same along with the size and the foreign key will allow duplicate values, it will allow null values and we can apply more than one foreign key constant on a single table. And here you need to remember some other points that we cannot insert the value in foreign key column if the value is not available in where primary key column. We cannot drop primary key constraint until we drop what foreign key constraint. Is it clear? We cannot delete the value from primary key column until the values deleted from where foreign key column this is the dependencies we need to follow so i will try to execute this one and uh, press f5 command completed successfully right click refresh here you can see one table is created with bus pickup points with two columns sv number and pid sv number is foreign key you don't think it is pk because we applied composite primary key constraint for sv number and pid and the combinedly these two columns will work like primary key individually they will not work like primary key now i'll try to create one more table called bus destination table and uh, i want the bus destination table came based on the relationship of uh, bus as well as what destination is it clear so here if you observe this table uh, create table table name is bus destination column name sv number var care of 30 foreign key references primary key table name is bus of primary key column name that is service number is it clear similarly comma did where care of 50 and i applied the same manner execute so here you just go and check in tables right click refresh and here you can see bus destination table here you can see service number as well as did now i'll create one more table the last table I'll create as fair destination table and uh, in our project we are maintaining the fair related to what uh, based on the from place and to place uh, so here you can see here you can check create table table name column name data type foreign key references primary key table name of primary key column name comma fdid fdid means instead of this is actually from place but instead of from place i'm storing the id here is it clear so fdid foreign key references primary key table name is destination of primary key column name did comma f dep time departure time var care of 30 tdid var care of 50 foreign key yeah, I will uh, explain this table in future you don't worry but uh, initially I am trying to creating the table so here you can right click on the tables refresh here you can see fair destination table is ready is it clear and SV number is foreign key FDID is foreign key TDID is foreign key is it clear and if you want to see the database diagram right click on the database diagram click on new database diagram here click on yes sir so that you can see all the tables or you can simply select all the tables by holding the control key and here you can press add button then it will show the all the tables along with their relationships so here you can see this is my bus table and uh, here you can check 
I have my uh, destination table. This is my destination table, and here you check this is my pickup points table, and here you see this is my bus destination table, and uh, here you see this is my bus pickup points table. So these are the final tables that are uh, available related to our project. Is it clear? Here I hope you understood. This is about the fare destination table. Mm. Right. So in the next video, we will try to start developing the project. Um, in ASP.NET, we are trying to develop the same project, the front end. Mostly, I will try to develop the project in three tier architecture. So in the next video, I will try to explain you what is three tier architecture and how to work with three tier architecture. Is it clear? For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can uh, uh, subscribe to my Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.